Hey there, and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing a very exciting video. You guys love these, I love these. It's kind of like sample pull, sample hauls, whatever it may be. And I've got a really exciting one for you guys. So as you see from the title, they're all from the same house and it's actually Sylvain de la Courte. And this has been a perfumer and a line that I've been curious about for a very long time, ever since, I think her channel is Manotte de Coeur. She's a French fragrance YouTuber and she interviewed Sylvain de la Courte a while back. And I was really intrigued because Sylvain de la Courte used to be one of the directors at Guerlain and she's a, the perfumer behind Insolence, which as if you guys have been watching me for a while, you know, is one of my ride or die favorites of all time. So when she left Guerlain, she set up her own house and this is some of the fragrances. So I have to thank um, Nicole, one of my fragrance, you know, friends and subscribers. Thank you so much for sending this to me. And I'm really, really excited to go through with it. So this is the um, vanilla collection, the Collection Vanille. And it's got five fragrances that are all centered around a different type or version of vanilla. And so we're just gonna go through all five and I'm gonna give you my top one at the end as well. I'm really excited. I've tried all of these ahead of time, but we're gonna go through them together as well. If you haven't subscribed already, don't forget to subscribe and let's get into it. So we're gonna start with Valkyrie and that is the fresh vanilla. So it's got the notes on the back. If you get this set on um, her website, you will get this exact thing I imagine. And it's got the notes on the back, so I'm just gonna translate them from French to English. And this is supposed to be, Valkyrie is supposed to be their fresh vanilla. So it's got lime, um, sugared orange, basil, mint, galbanum, and um, sandalwood, and Madagascar vanilla. The really, really cool thing about this, and I love when fragrance houses do, do this, is she doesn't just list out the notes, but she also gives like the origin. So the lime in this is Brazilian lime. Um, the basil is from Camargue. The sandalwood is from India. The vanilla, like I said, is from Ma Madagascar. So it's just really interesting. And both my countries uh, are in this, so that's really cool as well. And so we're gonna remind ourselves of the fresh vanilla. Right, okay. So I really like this one, but I have to say I was kind of surprised a little bit that this was called fresh vanilla it, because to me it, it has such a warm spice to it. Like it's so um, warm and fall time vanilla. It's got an element of uh, Lyra um, by Zerzhov to it. And I think it's probably that orange, that sugared orange because there's um, like a mandarin or orange note in Lyra as well. That's very gourmand. And it's actually a note that I don't like in Lyra, but in this, like, it kind of works. There's the lime and there's the vanilla in there, but it's very spiced. Like, I feel like it's not a spicy per se, but it's it's very warm and there's a, a bit of brightness because of the lime. But in general, I wouldn't have like imagined this. If I think of like a fresh vanilla, this isn't the direction that I go with. So if you don't, if you thought because of that description, it wouldn't be your thing and you're into a spicy vanilla, which for me personally, spicy vanillas are a lot safer than um, going in a, maybe a fresh vanilla or a super gourmand vanilla route, because it's when it gets to that Bath and Body Works vanilla, which is how I described it, that I have a problem or I, I like it makes my stomach turn or Idol by Lancome also, but this is very spiced and warm and fall time. It makes me think of like multicolored, fall colored leaves. Yeah, I don't know, it's interesting. I really do like it. I think the fresh vanilla thing just threw me off personally, but in terms of a scent, if you like Lyra by Zerzhov, I feel like you will have a good time with Valkyrie. So then the second one is Vahina, and that is the floral vanilla. So this has essence of mandarin. This has orange blossom absolu. This has osmanthus flower absolu. It has Madagascar vanilla again, and then it has pedigree. So 
These were all a lot of notes that I was really excited about. I love Pettigrain and Orange Blossom. And it was interesting because when I smelled Ahina for the first time, I'm just reminding myself now of the notes. I was, I was really surprised that it was kind of opposite to the first one. It was as fresh as it is. It's, it's like I was expecting for something to be like a floral vanilla and especially like it's got those floral notes that it would be more floral heavy, but to me it's actually quite herbal and and sweet. Like in the, in the beginning I feel like I got like a, you get like a touch or a splash of greenness to it. And um, it took me back, it was nice, but it, it, it definitely took me back. And as it starts to rest on the skin, cause I wore this one obviously for several hours, it gets so sweet and it's really nice actually. I imagine it's the Tonka, but it, for whatever reason, doesn't get too close to the kind of vanilla that bothers me, even though it's in that same category. But I really did like it. It's kind of more youthful. It feels very baby doll vanilla. It just doesn't feel floral to me. And I thought I would mention that again because I think the descriptors um, might throw people off and even the notes maybe. The fresh vanilla I would say is a lot more of like a spicy warm vanilla. That's a lot more suited for colder weather in my opinion. And the floral vanilla, because I know not everyone is down for floral fragrances, is not at all. It's very, it's very feminine and girly and sweet and much more of like a Tonka vanilla sugar, vanilla like powdered sugar kind of fragrance. There's a touch of greenness in the beginning um, and like a brightness, but it, it dissipates relatively quickly and then you're left with a kind of Tonka truer vanilla and a lot more of a true vanilla and a stronger vanilla than in the first one with Valkyrie. All right, so now we're gonna get to the third one and this one is Vanori and this is the Sunny Vanilla and I was very excited for this one. Um, this has uh, Pamplemousse, which is grapefruit and then it has Pettigrain again, it has Strirax, it has Oh my God, I'm having the hardest time translating this. This is beeswax from Honduras, or from France rather, and then the Madagascar vanilla as well. So, sunny vanilla I was very excited for. I love a beachy fragrance. If you guys know me, a summery fragrance, a beachy fragrance, a beachy vanilla is again a pretty safe bet because of the whole beachy vibe that I adore in fragrances, and I have so many fragrances that are almost the same, but they're all beachy and I love them and beeswax is such a underrated note when used well, I adore. And this is a place where I just love this fragrance. It is a fresh beachy fragrance. So if sunscreen type fragrances bother you, I wouldn't worry too much about it. It's definitely got like that beachy feel and it's slightly, um, it's slightly sweet in the way that sunscreen type fragrances can get, but I feel like it really keeps it fresh and bright with, with the Pettigrain. And it, honestly, it's not a lot of grapefruit like bitterness at all. It's, it's just enough to keep it fresh. And there is a waxiness to it, which I love. I think it's so, so stunning. This one, right when I was like, you know, going through it and smelling them and wearing them several days to be able to do this video, I knew that Sunny Vanilla had stood out 100%. I was like, this is, this is a special one. And what I love about these sample videos is I kind of ask myself whether they would be full bottle worthy because sometimes I'll like a scent in the sample or even in a decant, but that's really all I need from it. And some I'm like, oh no this is full bottle worthy. And this was one where as I smelled it, I was like this, this is something special. This is definitely full bottle worthy. So Vanary, the sunny vanilla, I would agree, agree with the descriptor. I think it definitely is like a sunny or a beachy vanilla. And, and yeah, I think it's stunning. 
So then we have Vangelis, and this was the one that was described as being the spicy vanilla. Um, so I'll spray it on the other hand. This has clementine from Italy, black pepper, ginger, um, some nuts, myrrh, and again, that Madagascar vanilla. And I was so, so excited because this was described as being the spicy vanilla, which like I said, I was totally in for. And I was very surprised. So, okay, Valkyrie, which was the fresh vanilla, um, I didn't know how much I was gonna really like it, but I was excited because it had a note from Iran and I was like, oh, that's so cool. It ended up being spicy and, or spiced rather, and so it really made me like it. And so this one, I'm like, you know, safe bet. Of course it's gonna be a favorite of mine. It's a spicy vanilla. And yet, in my opinion, it was more, it was it, like, I don't think that the notes, even the black pepper made this fragrance particularly spicy at all. It made it woody um, to a weird sense because I know there, there are like no woody notes in this necessarily, but it made it like woody and resinous but it didn't make it spicy. And so I don't think the black pepper is really bringing a whole lot of spice. That was a note that scared me um, in this fragrance. And if you don't like black pepper, I wouldn't say that this really leans into that at all. It is a bit resinous because of the myrrh and it's a nice fragrance, don't get me wrong, but I feel like out of all of them so far, it's definitely the most unisex. And it was, it was just surprising that the fresh vanilla is way more spiced than the spicy vanilla, in my opinion. So Vangelis was another confusing one in terms of the descriptor. And then finally we have Virgile and that's supposed to be the aromatic vanilla. So this, again, I was excited because of the notes because this has cedar leaves as a note from Canada, Madagascar vanilla, cedar itself, just cedar wood, geranium, pine and romarin and so this i was intrigued by because i was like you know what the canadian note is cool but in terms of notes it's supposed to be the aromatic vanilla and i completely agree it is again much more unisex than the first three and it's very like tart in its woodiness, like I wouldn't say it's deep, like rich sweet woods by any means. It's very fresh and aromatic and the least vanilla of them all. I feel like all the other notes and the fall time feel to this really overpower the Madagascar vanilla for me personally. As it stays on the skin, it does lean more and more into vanilla, but if you're like a huge vanilla lover, I wouldn't say that this is, this is like the least vanilla out of them all. But in terms of descriptor, I definitely think it is an aromatic vanilla. It has an element of like, it gives me a little bit of Terre d'Hermes Eau de Toilette by Hermes. Not fully there, I do prefer the Hermes scent, but, but yeah, it's an interesting one for sure. And I do agree with the descriptor. It's really just about taste and whether you want something that's not very sweet at all. Um, and just more kind of fresh and aromatic. So that was all of them. When I was going through them, you could probably guess, but my favorite out of all of them would be a sunny vanilla. I feel like the sunny vanilla is perfect for spring, summer, and it's the one out of all of them that kind of stood out to me the most. And if I had to pick like a fall, winter to kind of even it out, in my opinion, the fresh vanilla, which is actually more spicy, is the greatest one. It's It's got like all the best parts of Lyra and kind of removed what turns me off from Lyra. And it's just warm and I can, I can imagine and envision kind of like the best parts of fall in it as well, in a way that the aromatic vanilla lacks because it's not it's not as sweet, but the fresh vanilla has actually got like a touch of that sweetness to it as well. So love that. Those would be my two picks. Thank you again. Uh, you guys are so sweet when you send me stuff for 
um, reviewing or for my collection and it really does help myself and hopefully you guys. So if you're interested in Sylvaine de la Courte, I will leave her website in the description box below. It's not an affiliate link at all. If you just want to check out her website, check out this vanilla collection. Let me know in the comments below which one you think would be your favorite if you haven't tried any of them and I'll see you next time. Bye!